Hello guys, welcome to this video where we discuss the revolution. OpenAI just released the Assistant API and I think this is one of the best thing to happen at present. So using Assistant API, you can create GPT-like assistants and then you can chat with that assistant in multiple threads. So you can have multiple parallel conversations and it's just amazing. I think we can build so many good use cases using this assistant API. But in this video, let's see the introduction and how to get started with using the API and how to call the API using the OpenAI API. Let's get started. So we have this assistant API. API, the assistant API, it allows you to build API or AI assistant with your own applications. The steps that involved uh, in the using the assistant API are you need, need to create an assistant in the first place, then create a thread, which is um, just a conversation. Then you can add messages to the thread. There you can have parallel threads running and the different users of a thread. So a particular user will be assigned to a particular thread and these threads will be asynchronous and they'll be running in parallel. This is beautiful. Then we run the assistant to get the response. So we have the code snippets here and I have taken the code snippets and made it a working case, a running case here, which you will see in just a moment. But before that, how uh, does this assistant work? So when we say an assistant, it is an AI or a bot that will use the open AI's models and tools. Okay. We can also have a look at the playground of OpenAI to have a, a first-hand impression of the assistant. So threads. The thread is a conversation session between the assistant and the user. Threads store messages and automatically handle truncation to fit context in a model's context. So this is a very high level, this is a very high level coding that we are going to do because in the backend, OpenAI has developed everything and it's so easy to get your assistant running up and using that message so what is message is uh, is any interaction between the assistant and the user via a thread and run is an invocation of an assistant on a thread okay the assistant uses its configuration and the threads message to perform tasks by calling models and tools so before we go into this code let me go to the playground and let's see uh open ai platform let's go to the playground and test it here before we move on to the actual code so under the playground we have this assistant you can click on assistant enter a friendly name let's say uh chess bot okay maths tutor say maths bot so you are a personal math tutor write and run code and this is the model we have we can put these tools. So these are the tools. Uh, we can add custom functions as well. These are the tools, code interpreter, retrieval tools. You can add your own files uh, to perform the retrieval here. So we can add our files and you can select the different models. This is a new one. Just select this and just save this. So once you save this, your assistant has been updated. Now you can just ask what is uh, the value of X Okay, in 3x plus 1 equal to 4 okay the x should be equal to 1 let's see add and run code interpreter it is calling the code interpreter and it is trying to solve so the answer here is x equal to 1 pretty cool so this is an example of uh, the assistant on the playground but we are going to use the code that uh, that will help us in creating a good use case like a chatbot or something i am uh, trying to create a chatbot uh, for uh, using this assistant api and i will come up with a chatbot um, in the next video but let's uh, walk you through the code so i have this open in the visual studio code editor i have opened up a virtual environment let's uh, start up my terminal here new terminal and let's start up a virtual terminal so we go to venv scripts and activate the virtual environment here okay how do you activate a virtual environment how to create a virtual environment so you say Control shift p uh, create environment 
select this virtual environment uh, use existing and you, you can just create a new virtual environment and select the python version okay i am not going to do this now so we have this so um, i'm going to go back to steps here and cls to clear this so this is a main file and this is the requirement just the requirement is openai so how do you install the requirement pip install dash r requirements.txt so just install this it is already installed so that's done next we move on to main.py now i have this code written but let's see uh, the code one step at a time or one line at a time therefore what i'm going to do is i have already installed in the extensions jupyter so if you have this jupyter notebooks installed what you can do is you can just make some space here what you can do is you can just uh, put your cursor here or select this line and uh, press shift enter this will enter into this mode of the jupyter notebook styles so here we can explain one line and let's go uh, and explain each line so we import the operating system here we import the sleep forum the time module we import the open ai then from the open ai we import this uh, let's print this print start yes it's working next we are going to load up the open ai api key so for that we go to uh, platform.openai.com i think you already know this platform.openai.com and there we need to go to api keys and create a new secret key here just create a secret key and it is going to ask if you are a human okay i'm a human i think okay so we have this copy this and paste it here okay so after paste it control s and now you can say shift enter here so api uh, key is saved you can gonna load up in the client so in the client we open up a session or load a session of openai using the api key and here in the first step we create an assistant okay so here we create an assistant and the instruction is you are a personal math tutor write and run code to answer math questions tools that we're going to give it is the code interpreter what other tools uh, can we give it so these are the tools we can give it function calls we can give it retrieval but we have just put a code retrieval code interpreter here then the model is gpt4 1106 preview so we print the assistant so we have this assistant here and i'm going to just print the id of the assistant so this is the id okay it's working next we are going to create a thread so thread is client.beta.threads.create so let's create the thread here let's print the thread this is the thread let's print the id of the thread this is the id next we are going to put in a message here okay so message is client.beta.threads.messages create a message threads is equal to thread.id.role okay this is role role is user this is us putting in the message and content is i need to solve the equation 3x plus 11 equal to 14 can you help me can you help me so this is our message you can take this as uh, an input from the user and when you are using the when we will do the chatbot then we're going to see uh, how we can put this as an input we can ask the user to enter uh, the input here then you can put the input here and then uh, append the message so let's run the message so this message is appended or added to the thread now let's print the message again so we have this message okay so here we are going to run the assistant so run is client.beta.threads.runs we create and threads is equal to threads.id assistant is equal to assistant.id instruction is please address the user as jane doe the user has a premium account it's okay but we are just running it because we already have the thread id we already have the assistant id and uh, one of the message has already been loaded uh, into threads and now we are going to run this so run this and now we are going to retrieve we are going to retrieve the message so this step is a while loop what uh, it does is that this code it checks for the status of the assistant run so when you say run is uh, client beta threads run retrieve the message of this thread and this run uh, the run that is already that that is already run the run that is completed 
it is going to see the status of the run. If the status is completed, then it's going to break. So it is going to wait for the status to be completed. So we can select this and shift enter. So status is completed now. Let's display it. So we pull the messages here. We list the messages here uh, in this thread, whatever the messages are available in the thread. We take the recent item and then we print that response. So this is the response of the you can see the response of course Jane Doe. To solve the equations, we need to find the value of x. This is what you can do. Subtract 11 from both sides of the equation. This simplifies to 3x equal to 3. Now divide by 3 to solve for x. So this gives x equal to 1 and the solution is x equal to 1 here. That is pretty amazing. So what we have done is that we have simply, we have started up an assistant or created an assistant. Then we created a thread. We add a message from the user to the thread uh, what is that step this is the step we add a message to the thread from the user user message then we run the thread okay and during this run it is going to use up all the instructions all the tools uh, that has been uh, used when we used assistant create and then we are going to fetch the run because it is going to append the uh, messages of the assistant in the thread so we are going to pull up that thread and see the recent message and just print the response so we can see and if you just imagine if you just give it a thought you didn't have to do any sort of data retrieval or any sort of vector storage or anything like that when you use langchain a couple of months before you uh, might remember that we need to do all sorts of truncation of the data you know, vector storage, storing the data in a different vector uh, databases, pulling the databases, the different ways to pull and the different ways to store. You know, these all difficulties that we faced, it's completely nullified by the OpenAI APIs, the Assistant API. Now it's very simple. Now you can focus on the use cases. The use cases, one such use case I am just on the verge of completion is a chatbot. What we can do is we can use this thread concept and put it in a chatbot, for example, in a flow-wise chatbot that you can add to your website. And uh, that would be pretty interesting. So please wait for that video. But yeah, in this video, we have seen uh, everything that is required to get the Assistant API running. And I think uh, it is a very great technology that OpenAI has just released. We're just moving closer to the AGI but we don't know what AGI is but still let's move forward and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video with your friends and families and please watch the next videos that you have in your recommendations because I think you're gonna like it so this is a new channel I think it's not new actually it was seven months old and I have created this channel to share my knowledge and to expand our understanding of AI. And now we can replace AI with AGI. So having said that, this is your host, Prompt Engineer, signing off. Have a nice day, chill, and watch the next videos in the sequence. Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay subscribed.